Question of the day. Since we're talking grills, which do you prefer? A gas grill or a charcoal grill? Let me know in the comments. Gas. Gas, Captain. Red hot coals. Disclosures. I was given a small discount on this grill to review it for videos and pictures. That being said, my goal is to always give you an unbiased and honest review of the product, so that is what I'm gonna do today. Jump cut. Diving in, today I am reviewing a grill from an Argentinian company called Canke. They are doling out some pretty stylish iron grills. When you add some other material, like horns, it becomes something else. And that is what fashion is all about. Oh, I see you on the boat. They have some really decent marketing. They took themselves as giving the ultimate Argentinian experience uh, with portable grills that you can take camping or in your backyard. Lots of options. Robust, precise. They have a whole array of grills that are available. They have um, like regular grates, pizza ovens, planchas, so that you can grill giant pieces of meat, lots of things. I ended up getting the 3.0 grill, so it was the iron bowl, the uh, cast iron plate, the grates, the plancha, the wooden cutting board, so a lot of attachments on it. That's the one that I'm going to speak about today because I can't really speak to the other ones. You don't put burgers on a grill of this quality, Peter. I've been brining a heritage breed chicken for three days. These grills are made for burning charcoal or wood. That really appealed to me. As most of you know, I'm building up my skills for starting fires and camping. That was something that I was really interested in. I first saw these girls from an Instagram account called Over the Fire Cooking. He makes a lot of really awesome recipes that I wanted to try. Uh, he uses these girls occasionally, so that was what first drew me to them. I gotta get one of those. This girl came to me in less than a week, it got here very quickly. It comes completely disassembled very easy to put together. Uh, basically it was just the iron bowl, the grates, the legs, the legs screw into the bottom plate. It took less than 10 minutes to put together. So that was a breeze. I will say that the weight surprised me a lot. This is advertised as being a grill that you can throw in the back of your car, go to the beach, go camping, sit by a river, um, and you know you have this portable cooking experience. That was something that I was really wanting since I wanted to practice cooking over an open flame. I've been camping more, so I thought this would be perfect. When I got the box, it was 66 pounds, so a lot heavier than I was anticipating. For the camping adventures that I've been going on lately, it's more of the primitive campsites. So for instance, my last campsite, it was a half a mile hike from the car to where you set up. So there's no way that I could actually take this grill with me for something like that. For it to work, if I, I guess, put it in my car and pulled up right to the edge of the river where you know I was setting up camp, then it might work. But realistically, I was a little disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to use it the way I originally was hoping. You're one sandwich away from fat. Yeah, right. That's true. You have put on weight. What? That being said, being able to just use it in my backyard has been great. I have been able to practice making, uh, you know, fires with my ferro rod. So that was something that I really like. It's got uh, a big iron plate and then it has a bowl that sits on top so I can stack up wood and I can be able to practice getting my strikes in and there. Strike. The iron fire bowl keeps it well contained. There is a door uh, hinge on the front so you can open it and add more charcoal or wood without disturbing your food on top. The, the one that I got came with some fire gloves which are awesome. You can move things around on top, add more wood into the middle, and it doesn't, you know, mess up your hands at all. I didn't have to worry. So their fire gloves are really nice quality. Fire. 
cleanup is a braise. You just take the grates off, you take the big bowl off, and then wipe off the plate at the bottom, scoop the ashes out. So that I love a lot, very easy to clean. One thing to note though, the grates will rust. I guess I didn't realize that at first. They didn't, it wasn't very apparent to me. So if I left it overnight, it was already rusting the first night. So definitely have to keep that oiled all the time. Now that I am doing that routinely, it hasn't been an issue, but it was something that I wish I had known beforehand. Things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Price point. This one is a little bit on the pricier side. It is very heavy duty iron. It is a lot of material that you get. That being said, I think I was paying more for the aesthetic of it. Um, it's about, the one that I got is about $600 for the grill itself, uh, gloves, cover, and the plancha and the cutting board that came with it. They do have a lot of sales that they're running, so I think if you catch one of the sales, then it's worth it. For instance, the grill that I got now is about $150 off, and they throw in the gloves and the cover for free. There's also free shipping. So I think if you kind of, you know, track those sales, then it's more worth it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> if you're really into grilling and want that unique experience, you want something that's different, a bit of a head turner, this is a great option. It's got a really great aesthetic. It's very heavy duty. That iron is solid. So I feel like this is going to last a long time. The primitive experience of cooking over an open flame, this has that capability, which is something that I haven't really seen in a lot of other grills. Uh, that was something that really appealed to me. You really can get in there, you can adjust your wood flames, you're adding more coal or wood to it. You can't do that with a lot of other options on the local, you know, your big box stores locally. If you're the occasional griller, you just kind of do it every now and then, maybe this isn't something that you want to sink all your money into. You can absolutely get another grill locally that will get the job done. Why? Final thoughts. Overall, I like this grill. I'm not the mo most frequent griller at all, so I don't know that I necessarily would have needed to get such a big purchase. That being said, since I do have it, I really like it a lot. The food tasted great. I felt like I got the campfire experience. My steak did taste delicious coming off of an open flame. I'm excited to try a bunch of the new recipes with it. Um, it is really sturdy, it's really easy to clean, so that appeals to me, for sure. Um, hmm, what are my other thoughts? Well, we're waiting. Yeah, overall I like it. I'm glad I got it. And then? I guess that's it. That's the video for the week. I also have a giveaway going on, so you can go to my Instagram page and check that out if you're interested. I'm going to be traveling next week, so next week will be a little bit lighter of a video. But thank you for coming back. Hit like and subscribe, share with your friends, and make more videos.